From FX Empire, this is Christopher Lewis looking at the Bitcoin market for the 30th of November. Um, you can see that we have broken significantly above 10,000 during Asian trading, um, pulled back on heavy volume, then turned around to rally significantly on lighter volume, and we are starting to see heavier selling. Um, I do think we're going to find a little bit of support at the 20 SMA on the hourly chart. Um, but the problem with this move for me personally is that we gained $1,400 and then gave back about 700 of it in a few hours. Um, and I think that's the problem with Bitcoin right now. Uh, far too many people are going into the CFD markets and over leveraging themselves and playing absolute havoc with their trading account. Uh, I will be the first to admit that I am looking at this from a perspective of it's definitely a bubble. Uh, but bubbles are part of trading. And if you recognize that ahead of time, there are ways you can approach it. Um, you know, think about how much money you could have been making during the tech stock boom in the late 90s. Everybody was making money. You had to learn to get out. And that's where most people fail. Most of the time, trading is simply riding a bubble higher and getting out before it pops. Or if you're really good, shorting it on the way back down. That's going to be how I look at this market. And right now, within institutional money coming in, uh, I don't think a bubble is ready to pop. So with that in mind, you have to think of it as a buy on the dips type of situation. And right now, I currently have 10000 as the floor in the market. I think eventually we'll try to take out the highs, but uh, with the volume turning negative, it's probably going to be quite choppy. So add slowly. Add with as little leverage as possible. If it breaks down below 10000 then we may get a little bit more of a significant pullback. As far as a target is concerned to the upside, um, you know, we've already reached it based upon any type of consolidation in a $1,000 or even $1,500 range, which we really didn't have. So uh, it's more or less a parabolic market, and those are always very difficult to judge. You just have to look at areas uh, more or less where you want to be gone. And under 10000 I want to be gone. That doesn't mean I wouldn't jump back in, but certainly that is a very dangerous uh precedent because uh, one has to wonder how much more uh, volume there is because the highest volume candle is a negative one underneath that. So I think we would probably continue to go much lower. Um, you know, I'll have to cross that bridge when I get to it. Perhaps 9,000 would be a great place to buy in. But uh, really at this point, uh, this just looks like a market that if you're in, you can add on dips, but you must be very careful.